Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Cluffy. I want to explain how a um, panel radiator valve works. Panel radiator is a very common uh, heat emitter, and the beauty of a panel radiator, it's a low mass system, so they respond quickly. But the other thing that's really nice about a panel radiator is that they can work at really low operating temperatures. That makes them very um, conducive to uh, ModCon boilers that run at low, uh, higher efficiencies with the lower return temperatures. It also makes it nice if you're going to do a, uh, a solar supplemented heating system because you'll have that low temperature water available. So, Kalefi makes a range of valves um, that work on these panel radiators, and I'm going to show you the different valves that we offer. I'm going to show you how they go in there, what's unique about our valves, and stuff like that. So, what I've got here in front of me is a very typical panel radiator. And if you look at this radiator, what you're going to notice is there's a couple connections built into it, and that's going to come right from the factory with that connection. And that spacing is consistent from brand to brand, which makes it nice because we have a universal a line of universal valves that fits right into that spacing. So the first thing you're going to have to do is decide which type of valve you're going to use. And I'm going to explain the different types of valve. These are commonly called um, H valves. You can tell by the shape of that valve, it's in the shape of the letter H. That's how we get the word H valve. Um, they're going to come in a straight or an angle version. And what that means, if your pipes are going to come out of the floor up to the radiator, you'll use the straight version. You come straight in the bottom, straight out the top to the radiator. A lot of guys prefer to bring the piping out of the wall. It's a little bit cleaner looking, so the vacuum cleaners maybe don't bang into them and stuff. So we do offer an angle version of that valve also. So that's the two different versions as a straight and angle. Now there's two different types of valves available. We've got what's called a one pipe system and a two pipe system. And let me tell you the difference between the two different systems and how you would pipe them. So a one pipe system is what I would refer to maybe as a series piping. And what happens with a one pipe system is the flow, the hot water flow comes into the first radiator, it goes through that radiator, it goes to the second radiator, onto the third one. So they're all in series like that. What's important about that is you're going to drop temperatures. You go through every radiator down the line in the series piping, so you got to make sure when you plan that that your last radiator is still able to output enough heat at the lower temperature it's going to see as it goes through the first couple radiators. That's one way you can do it. You can also do it with a parallel piping system. And what parallel piping does, just like you parallel pipe a radiant floor system, is every radiator gets its own supply and return. So you don't have to worry about back bypassing a little flow to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So pros and cons to both different types of systems. I think a lot of times um, in retrofit applications, it's easier to do series where they can just go from a radiator right over to the next one to the next one without having to um, coming out in a bunch of different places. So there's a place for both of them. So let me show you how to install the valves and I'll explain the difference as we go into the um, radiator so I can show you how they bypass and how they work differently. So the first thing you're going to do is when you get this valve and you open the box, you're going to notice it comes with a couple brass adapters. And what these adapters are going to do for you is going to turn that straight thread that's up built inside the radiator at the uh, spacing that fits the H pattern of the valve and it's going to turn it into a fitting that will adapt onto the swivel nut on the radiator valve. So first thing you'll want to do is you'll take these and now you don't have to dope these or um, put any Teflon on them because it's a straight thread and it seals with the rubber o-ring gasket at the end there. So you put both of those in. This is a, a great place to use a radiator tool to put those in there so you can get them nice and tight without marking them up or without ruining the threads as you put them in there. It'll be hard to turn that because I'm on the table here, but that's what that would look like if you wanted to put those in and tighten them like that. So you get those in there, you get them secured till they bottom out, you'll see the little O-rings uh, settle out on the bottom, and now you're ready to put your radiator valve. Let's start with this one right here. Now that's a straight pattern valve, and so inside are the gaskets that seal to the bottom of that, because now you've got a, a flat surface that needs a gasket to seal. So then all you would do is you would put that right on there, like that, tighten it up. You can also get a wrench, a, a box wrench that fits that so you don't have to use a channel locks or something where you're going to uh, skin up the chrome plating on that. I would highly encourage you to get one of those valves. So that's what it looks like when it's all installed. What's nice about this valve, let me take it off and turn it so you can see it a little bit better, is you notice it has two screws in it. Those are isolation valves, ball valve shutoffs if you will. And that same tool, that radiator valve, typically has a screw, sorry wrong end, a screwdriver on the end of it that fits in there perfectly. So now you can turn that on and off. And what that's in there for, it's an isolation valve. If you want to take the um, radiator off the wall to work behind it, to paint behind it, or when you rough it in for the first time, you shut both of those off, and now you've got your supply and return piping shut off, and now you can remove the radiator from the, um, from the bracket and from the wall. So this one would allow the pipes to come up straight from the floor. 
Now this is the angle valve, and what's different about this, again, we've got the radiator laying on its side. Imagine this standing, um, standing up straight, and then these would go into the wall. So now it's got a little different look, a little different rough end uh, pattern. This valve here is connected together with a piece of brass uh, forging in between there, and that's solid. That's not a water passageway. So this one, the flow has to come in, go through the radiator, and back out. This one gets a little bit more um, elaborate, a little bit more sophisticated. So what this valve is going to do for you is this is going to allow everyone to get its own supply and return, and it's going to have a little bypass in it. So what this bypass will do in the center here, there's actually a flow path across the center, and this comes set so it's going to bypass some of the flow to the next radiator, and some of the flow is going to go through this radiator. Same thing with isolation valves there. So this valve would just hook up to there. Um, and you can adjust how much bypasses to the next radiator if you want to balance these out as they go down the line. And of course, that's available also in a straight version if the pipes are coming out of the floor. So there you have the um, straight version, the angle version of the one pipe where it comes in. Some of the flow bypasses. Some of the flow goes through the radiator. The parallel two pipe system there. Now you've got the valve installed. You've got your piping up through there. You've got different options to connect on to this, what kind of piping that you're going to connect these radiators with. And we offer a couple different fittings for that. The first one is a PEX fitting. It's very similar to the PEX fitting that we use on our manifolds. It's actually the same uh, thread and everything, but it's chrome plated because you're going to see that in the room. So this little PEX adapter is pretty unique in that it's got a segmented olive. And what that does is if you have a tube that's a little bit out of tolerance, maybe it's a little um, oval shaped from being coiled up or something like that, that segmented olive is going to take up that uh, tolerance and uh, fit it in there. And also on our PEX valve, the insert part that goes inside of that, we've got a double O-ring on that so we get a good seal on the inside. And it's a little tapered. So as it goes in there, it goes entire as you push it in there. So now that is your PEX connection. Now that would go on the bottom of the valve like that. It's got a nose o-ring on it so it makes a good seal into the valve. And that's how you would hook a PEX connection to that valve. Now if you don't want to use PEX, some guys prefer to use copper. We've got two different copper adapters that also work with that. This one's kind of nice. It's a little compression adapter. All the pieces are kind of slid up inside there. But you just slide the pieces over the copper. And that goes in there. It's got a double o-ring seal on it. The o-ring seal's there. That little ring bites into the copper when you tighten it up, and it's just a compression um, fitting to put the copper into the bottom of the valves like that. One other um, option that we offer is we've got the same copper tube size that's in a sweat version. If you prefer to sweat that on instead of a compression, I like the compression because it gives you a little bit of adjustability when you go to hook this up. If your pipes weren't cut exactly the right length, the uh, compression adapter allows you to slide the pipe in and out a little bit. So there's the different piping options. There's the different valve options. There's the, um, the connection parts that come with every um, valve. You'll get the brass fittings, the wrench, everything you need to uh, put a panel radiator valve together.